27. Yay, look at us changed. <laughs> um, so we have a beautiful sunset right now. We're just glowing over here. Um, so we have Stacy that's gonna read day seven. They are, I, I had them run and go grab something protein um, just because they did a workout already and you want within 30 minutes of a workout to be able to absorb as much protein in those muscles as you can so you're feeding those muscles. Day seven, what is the best cardio? Long distance runners, aerobic training uses both muscle and fat for long distance fuel. Because of their muscle depletion, it slows their metabolic rate, which ultimately slows down their fat loss, usually plagued with a skinny fat condition. Sprinters are anaerobic training, get that, get that tone look because it's more effective to move faster in less time. It also frees up a lot of time to get home and recover. Stop wasting endless hours doing slow, sorry, stop wasting endless hours doing some low intensity cardio, kick it up a notch and release the results. That means there is a t training technique in which you will give all out 100% effort through quick intense bursts of exercise followed by short, sometimes active recovery periods. This type of training gets and keeps your heart rate up and burns more fat in less time. Hence, exercise will help burn more fat and calories than regular aerobic and steady state workouts. So, increases your metabolism with the quick and convenient booty band hit workouts. I created this, this workout that's going to be incorporating resistance training or strength training mixed with a high interactive, I called it like burnout or burst. So having something like going back and forth like that is really toning the muscles, using the resistance, but meanwhile getting your heart rate up and then kind of bringing it down through those exercises. So that foot is nice and planted on there, right? You're gonna come up, squeeze your glutes when you come up, and then come down and tap. We're gonna do 15 on each side. Yep, so we're gonna make sure that Suzanne has her heel all the way up on there, because if she does, then she'll be activating her glutes. When she steps off, step nice and far back, so you're getting that nice good angle to use the back of your legs versus all the front of your legs. This will be your primary, this will be secondary. It's kind of what your mind goes through, okay? Keep going, we're gonna do 15. These are slow and controlled. This isn't a fast movement here. And we'll be doing a total of 15. And go ahead and take a look at Stacy over here. Stacy's choosing to do it on a lower, not as high and uh, it's going to help use the same thing. She does have a band on. The girls are doing a big step, so I'd say probably not the band on here. You could if you wanted to, uh, but for the first demonstration, I'd say no. Good job. training Amy was her balance so this as she may feel oh wow I'm not good at my balance don't say you're not good at your balance what you're gonna say is I'm going to challenge my balance so it gets better and better so here's how balance works you start off like this you feel very very unstable but if you keep continuing to do exercises that challenge your balance imagine your receptors come and they start getting a little bit better you're gonna start to feel that your core will get a little bit tighter tighter and tighter to the point that you're gonna feel very stable and very balanced through it. She's doing a lot better definitely than the first day I had her. Second um, exercise is called our iron leg squats and this is our burst. So we really wanna get our heart rate up right here. So we're gonna put the bands around our top portion of our knees. Um, watch Stacy if she's going to modify this one. I like it. <laughs> Some of these glutes are getting stronger. So what we're gonna do is we're going to squat on the way out and squat on the way in. And that's really gonna get our heart rate. So that's one, two, three. You wanna send your booty clear back. Like you're sitting in that imaginary chair. So you're staying into your heels rather than your quads. Let's take a look at Stace. She's just doing the one squat. She's not doing two squats. So you'll see the difference on that as she's just standing up and squatting down, which is a great modification. Another modification is taking the hop out of it. Good 
work. So now we're gonna go back into our strength. And this one is our curtsy lunges, so 15 on each side. Keep your band on. Make sure you have enough room. Yeah. I will. Yep. So here's the thing with curtsy lunges. Chest is always up, like we learned, right? So when you step back, imagine you're not going too far back, but at a nice angle that keeps it so you're into the back portion of your heel and you're gonna be working the side of your glutes. So you're focusing on this side of your leg and also you're working the inside of your leg as well. So you're coming down into a curtsy with a 90 degree angle, you're coming up and you're squeezing your glute for 15 on each side. I love it. Yes, so modification, if she feels a little unbalanced, you can hold on to something and just do a back lunge. Let me see, form, perfect form, perfect form. This is a great one that's perfect form and perfect. What I'm watching is just that their legs are looking like this. If their legs look 90, then that's what I'm looking for. If they're 45, that's not what we're looking for. Cool. So 15 on each side. So this one is nice and slow. It's really getting, not their heart rate up at this point. You're just kind of strengthening, toning the muscles, building those glutes. total so one okay awesome so bring it as high as you can awesome at this point I would say grab some water and then you'd repeat that for your second round for hands okay so anytime you're doing any sort of push-up or plank you want to keep that nice good angle right up over your hands why? Because you're incorporating your chest and it's not all this weird angle in your shoulders right here, okay? So your chest is, a, is a, actually a pretty um, big muscle. You wanna make sure you're, you're strengthening your chest. So this one is called slow mountain climbers. Again, this is a slow, re like active recovery. So nice and slow, really focusing on your core. When you do one on each side, that counts as one. So this one, you're toning all the upper body as well as your core. Feeling that, so I'm gonna take a little break, kind of shake out your arms a little bit, make sure your blood flow is good, right? Any breaks is totally fine. I don't want anyone to feel like they have to just totally run through it. This is actually a modified version. You could also do this on the ground, and it looks like this. And you're gonna feel it a little bit more intensely if you'd like to try it on the ground. Stacey, go ahead and let me see your uh, modification on this one. Can I try it on the floor? Yeah, I love it on the ground. So this is Stacy. I love that, that she's just going side to side for this one. And this is called her jack, okay? All right, let's do it, we got 15.
our leg lifts. So from here, you're just gonna bring that leg behind you and back up. Now again, this one's your slow one. So go nice and slow, keeping your core tight. And here you're working on your maximus, which is your largest part of your glutes. So this is what's gonna really bring the glutes out and make it have a good round look. We'll do 15 on the other. Awesome. So your next one is uh, bridge hops. So we're gonna put our back onto the mat. So you're gonna lift up, pop out, go down, up, pop in. Down, up, pop out. Good, awesome. Watch Stacy's for the modification. This is where we're gonna bring our heart rate up. Everyone, squeeze your glutes. Stacy's modification right here. Not doing the hop, she's just pulsing in and out. So it's perfect. Woo! Looking good. will go up. We have a total of 10 here. 10 push-ups. What I'm looking for your push-ups, you're bringing your elbows slightly back. Stacy has a perfect. You want to lower the uh, V rather than a T position. So you're really engaging through your chest muscles. Those look awesome. Killing over here with a full push-up. So this is our strength right here. For our burst, we're gonna go into a plank jack. So keeping yourself into a plank here and just going in, out, in, out for 10. Awesome. This next one is going to be flipping around, going into tricep dips. So you'll just, you'll bring your fingertips toward your booty and we're gonna go for 10. I'm feeling those. And the last two exercises is the alternating side plank. So you're gonna open up. Good, switch sides. 10 total. Everyone's got good form. Awesome. One last exercise after this. Awesome, so this next one is alternating plank balance. This is great for your, your straight, your core. So you're gonna lift one arm as the other leg comes out and you're gonna alternate. You have a total of 10. One on one side, one on the other side counts as one. You can also go onto your knees. So Stacy's gonna show us a modification as far as knees go. You'll be under your knees and do it there. Awesome. Those 
look awesome. Yay! So I drink a uh, full, like, regular sodas now. When before it was like totally fine and your body never had an issue. Day. I had five sodas a day probably because I work but that's all we have is sodas. So yeah, I've gone down to like only eat like, drink like half a can if that. Awesome. Here's us. My biggest weakness is french fries. I would literally eat it for every meal. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I went on a raw food diet, like a raw vegan diet and I remember the first time I had a french fry, I was like totally sick. Yeah. Like, did not like want to do any cramping, everything. Yeah. That bad. Yeah, your body rejects it for sure. So here's the yeah. For me, chocolate, but also another day that we were mentioning donuts. So in the beginning I got here, and I'm not from here, so I'm like, oh, all about donuts. And then today, if I eat a donut, I have such a big... like experience the same thing, and they're going to be like, oh... I get it, but I get so excited when you have that because if you're not getting sick from it, you're still eating it all the time. See what I mean? So we're going to definitely tap into diet on, I believe, on our next uh, next day. So we'll go into that. I am going, I don't have any time for the gym. I want to get a really effective workout in. Maybe I'm on vacation. I've only got 30 minutes to an hour. i got to create something. This is my go-to. Increasing metabolism, getting you more tight and toned, that's, that's the whole goal of the workout, right? Um, so for, if I had more, let's say, extra time, um, I would probably go and lift weights and then hit cardio if I did not substitute the cardio in between for my rest periods. So um, mine's based on time. This is perfect as far as cardio goes. You've been burning cardio for well over an hour, burning calories well over that whole hour that you were doing this. So you're totally fine. This is a great way to incorporate cardio into your workout. We had so much fun on day seven. We're so excited to have day eight with you.